<clears throat> Please tell me you have good news for me. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Okay. What? I... What do you mean I didn't get it? Do, do they have any idea who I am? Don't actually answer that. That's a rhetorical question. I'm Johnny Collins. What... What do you mean I, I didn't get the part? <sighs> okay. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <sighs> so let me get this straight. They told you that since there were already two movies made, they want to keep the cast consistent. That's what they said? <sighs> Who ever heard of such a stupid concept? I, you know what? How about this? You give little Orion Pictures a call ski back, and you tell them that they have a huge lawsuit on the way. Make sure you say huge, so they know that it's bigger than huge. It's huge. <sighs> Nobody, and I mean no one, turns down the head honcho of handsome. You got that? Keanu Reeves, you peasant! You knew how much this role meant to me. You knew it. And you just, you stole it right out from under me. I'm sorry. You know what? Play the tape. Sir. Play my audition tape. Show them how much this meant to me. I don't think that's just a good idea. Play the tape! Okay, are we rolling? Yeah? Yeah, all right. <clears throat> Hi, I am the head honcho of Handsome. Johnny Pretty Boy Collins, but... Let's be honest here. You already knew that. I'm auditioning for the part of Bill for uh, Bill and Ted. But to be completely honest with you, I don't really know why I have to even send this audition tape in. I guess it's just a formality at this point. It's just something that actors do. So <laughs> I'll play along. Where would you like me to start from? Take it from the top. Oh, okay. <clears throat> Alrighty then. <clears throat> the film is under full copyright of Orion Films. All rights are reserved. Um... I'm working here. Bill and Ted 3 face the music. Written by Chris Matheson. And Mr. Ed Collins, Solomon. you're not You know supposed what? I cannot work when you're interrupting me. How many auditions have you done? I'm just trying to- Exactly! Jeez, how many trees did we kill for this thing? Fade in. Interior? Night. Location? Bill's house. It's been a long, exhausting day for Bill. We can tell why the look on his face. He slowly walks down his driveway, trash bag in hand. Guys, I'm gonna be totally honest here. We're gonna have to pull out a stunt double for that. I, I, I cannot touch trash. Are you kidding me? It's been years since Bill has seen his best friend, Ted. He's nervous, but also very excited. Bill has a number of questions that are running through his head. The first, will Ted even remember who he is? And if he does, will they have the same bond, the very same friendship that they once had? Bill also wants to know if, if any of that still applies, will they have the same interests? Bill is done asking questions. You can tell. Bill walks towards his friend Ted. Their eyes meet. It is time for them to reintroduce themselves to each other. 
Bill is ready. He's confident. He opens his lips first and he says, hello. <laughs> well, uh, that's my audition. I'll be waiting to receive my check in the mail. I also take PayPal. <laughs> Ryan Films. Guys, listen, uh, I know that before I might have come off as a little on the upset side, and I want to apologize for that. And I, I want you to listen to me because I mean this from the bottom of my heart with the utmost sincerity. I hope that the film of Bill and Ted absolutely flops. And on top of that, get ready to go out of business because the Collins team of superior legal agents, that's the C-T-O-S-L-A for short, is coming for you and I promise that unlike me, this will not be pretty.